Hello there, YouTube. Um, I'm doing this video as a video response to um, Greg Solomon's video about YouTube's hidden agenda, or so-called hidden agenda. Um, and I guess, Greg, you haven't quite gotten me convinced. Um, you know, I agree that it is possible that, um, well, first let me, for those of you who haven't seen Greg's video, um, Greg stated that, um, you know, there have been these videos about, that have just been showing girls fighting, you know, often getting stabbed, um, you know, just these violent videos that really should not be on YouTube, um, and he also pointed out, you know, um, some of the problems with YouTube's, um, you know, rules and guidelines, and the fact that, um, you know, any video even hinting at, um, anything sexual is removed immediately, whereas, um, you know, the violent videos have been staying up there even after receiving, um, national press. Now, he implied that, or, you know, possibly even outright stated, I don't remember the video perfectly, I just watched it yesterday, but, um, he was basically talking about YouTube having a hidden agenda where, um, you know, essentially, because these videos were getting, you know, national headlines, they were just kind of, you know, turning the other way, you know, not not taking down these violent videos because they were getting all of this national press. Now, here's how I really feel about that statement. Um, I feel that if YouTube were going to, you know, ignore morals that they held, um, and that they, you know, at least cared about enough to write up, um, you know, that if the people in charge of YouTube cared enough about those morals, that they wouldn't ignore those morals simply for the sake of press. Or, if they would ignore those morals, they would ignore all of their morals. I mean, think about it for a minute. There are a lot of very popular pornography sites on the internet. It's everywhere. You know, um, if they're willing to ignore their you know, stand on violence over, um, you know, getting some more attention, then they would probably be willing to ignore their stand on, you know, sexual things as well. It seems like, you know, if they really, um, cared about all of these things and, um, but also cared more about getting attention, then they would just kind of let it all go and, you know, um, let some porn videos slip through here and there so that more people would come to the site to look for that. Um, you know, so what I really feel it is, is not them purposefully, I don't, I don't feel that it's this intentional thing that you seem to imply, that it's this, you know, um, well, let's accept this and get rid of this. Because if they really wanted to, you know, it is their site, they could just take down all the statements about not wanting violence on YouTube, you know? They don't have to have those statements anywhere, um, and they don't have to, you know, stop people from posting those videos, unless, you know, someone actually tries to take legal action against them. I don't know any of the legal details, if there's, you know, some possible, um, reason that they can't have those videos up, but I can't think of one, and, um, you know, I really doubt that, you know, if they're willing to ignore that statement, then, um, and they do it so pers purposefully as to say, you know, um, we're going to ignore this for the purposes of getting more attention, then either A, they would probably just be willing to take it down from their site and change their standards, or B, they would be willing to ignore everything um, that they've written as guidelines on the site, and, um, you know, 
just kind of let it all slide for the purposes of getting attention, because it would get attention. You know, you can't deny that this site would get so many more hits if there was pornography on it. Um, you know, if there were videos of women dancing around naked even, you know, forget. You know, I don't know how you define pornography. Um, I know YouTube uses a pretty, you know, strict definition of it, obviously. If, you know, someone casting a silhouette shadow that appears like a breast, um, you know, falls into their definition of what's unacceptable, then certainly they have a fairly loose definition. But, you know, I happen to think that um, there are a lot of things that are certainly not pornography that, um, you know, they could also, they could choose to accept, even under the guidelines that I've seen, for the most part, but, whatever. Um, the point is, I really think that it's much more a matter of, um, poorly written guidelines and or poor communication between the people who wrote those guidelines and the people enforcing them. Um, I really feel like, you know, YouTube, the, the people who wrote those guidelines, assuming they even still work there, um, you know, had in mind to police that sort of thing, and the people who are in charge of policing it right now do not feel that that's something that needs to be policed. And whether, you know, whether the head honchos are actually, um, fall into one category or the other, um, is probably something that's, you know, going to come down, and who knows how it'll all turn out. You know, maybe they will change the guidelines, maybe they'll start, um, enforcing it more strictly, or maybe they'll do neither, you know. Um, for the most part, YouTube has been a very, um, laissez-faire type of site, um, you know, with regard to just about everything except for pornography or nudity or hidden set nudity or whatever. Um, and, you know, maybe it'll continue that way. Um, I'd like to make another video that separately talks about my feelings about um, sexuality and violence and how our society as a whole really seems to have a double standard. But suffice to say for this video, um, our society does have a double standard with regard to those things, you know. They feel that um, it's better for a child to see someone getting stabbed than it is to see, uh, that is for a child to see someone, you know, um, having sex. So, you know, I don't feel that should be the case, but again, that's for another video. Um, but the point is, that's how our society feels in general. And I really think that whoever is enforcing the rules at YouTube is really just going by those, you know, unwritten, or in some cases written, rules of society. You know, they're saying that, oh, these vi this violence, you know, that's not a big deal. You can see that on the news every day. And, um, you know, that doesn't need to be t taken care of as fast. You know, obviously, if it's in the guidelines, maybe we should take it down. But it certainly doesn't have as high a priority as you know, this porn going on over here. I mean, children visit this site. We can't have them seeing porn. So, you know, I, I think that that's probably has a lot more to do with the reason that um, YouTube appears to have this double standard is that, you know, it's just a reflection of society. You know, individual people's morals who think about a child seeing the site and for some reason have much more of a problem with the child seeing sexual acts than violent acts. Um, I think I'm going to leave it at that for now. Um, by posting this as a reply to Greg Solomon, I guess I will see if he decides to, you know, um, come after me personally as he does with many other members of YouTube. I, I'm a little excited if that does happen, or maybe he'll just ignore me like he does with many of the other replies. So. I guess we'll see. Um, until next time, I do think I'm going to move right on to making that other video I was talking about more focusing on our society's views on violence and sexuality. And you'll see me in a minute. Bye.